In Activity 4, Color Filters and Lights, students investigate the effect of filters on the color of light. They predict and observe the effects of passing white light through different combinations of color filters and then compare this process with the process of mixing pigments. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 4, Part A and B. D-cell batteries. Sheets of white paper. Flashlights. Sheets of blue, green, red, yellow, orange, violet acetate. Frosted acetate. Reclosable plastic bags. And a roll of masking tape. You will also need to provide scissors. To prepare for this activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 4, Parts A and B for each student. Insert the batteries into the flashlights. Cut the sheets of frosted acetate into 5 cm by 5 cm squares and tape a frosted acetate square over the working end of each flashlight. Then cut the sheets of colored acetate into 10 cm by 12.5 cm pieces which will now be referred to as color filters. Each team of two will need a flashlight with a piece of frosted acetate, a sheet of white paper, and six color filters. To begin the activity, ask the students, what do you think a filter is? Accept all reasonable responses. Then define a filter as something that lets certain things through but blocks others. For example, a kitchen strainer is used to filter the water from spaghetti or vegetables. Inform students that in this activity, they will observe what happens when white light passes through color filters. Hold up several of the color filters and ask students, what do you think these objects filter out or allow through? Students will probably guess that each filter blocks out certain colors of light and allows other colors to pass through. Then ask, what does the red filter block and what does it let through? Students should know that it lets red light through but blocks or absorbs other colors of light. Next, divide the class into teams of two. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 4, Parts A and B to each student and the materials to each team. Demonstrate how to fold the sheet of white paper in half so that it can set up as a paper screen and how to position the flashlight and filters. Have students predict what will happen when the white light from their flashlights shines through each individual color filter. Then darken the room. Instruct students to experiment with each of the six filters and to complete the chart at the top of their activity sheets. After about 15 minutes, turn on the classroom lights and discuss the students' results. Ask what happened when you shined white light from the flashlight through a blue filter? Why? They should observe that the light that passed through the blue filter was blue because all the other colors were filtered out or absorbed by the blue filter. Then ask students, what do you predict will happen when you shine your flashlight through two overlapping color filters? Have students record their predictions in the second chart on their activity sheets. Darken the room again and allow students to experiment with combinations of two overlap filters and remind them to record their results. When they are finished, ask students what happened to the light when you overlapped two filters. Does it get brighter or dimmer? They should now observe that the light changes color because each added filter absorbs additional colors of light. The intensity of the light decreases because each color removed diminishes the total amount of light that gets through the filters and hits the paper screen. Then ask, what do you predict will happen if you shine light through three overlapping color filters? Have students record their predictions in the third chart on their activity sheets. Darken the room once again so the students can test their three filter combinations. When students have finished, instruct them to overlap all six filters at one time and to observe what happens to the light. They will see that no light is able to pass through all six filters. Ask students, why doesn't any light get through to the screen? They should understand that every color of light in the spectrum 
has been absorbed by one or more of the color filters. Finally, turn on the classroom lights and ask students, do the results you obtained overlapping filters remind you of anything else you have examined recently? The students should recognize that overlapping the filters formed new colors similar to what they observed when mixing watercolored with pigments. Finally, ask, did you notice any differences between the results obtained using overlapping filters and the results obtained by mixing colored water? Students will see that one remarkable difference is that combining red and yellow filters results in essentially red light, not the expected orange. This is because a yellow filter can allow a large amount of red and green light to pass through it and still look yellow, whereas the red filter is much more effective at blocking out other colors. Similarly, overlapping green and yellow filters yields a much darker green than students might expect after their pigment mixing experiments. To conclude the activity, leave the squares of frosted acetate taped to the flashlights for use in Activity 5. Place the color filters into the plastic reclosable bags, one color per bag. Return all the materials to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.